Hi, my name is John Byrne and welcome to Birmingham Marina. I'm here for the Prodigy No Tourist Tour. Uh, it's quite busy because we we're working today, today uh, the show's tonight, and I just wanted to talk to you about uh, TC Electronics, which is a company that I've had a relationship with for probably 25 years. Uh, I actually remember the first TC thing I ever tried. It was actually not mine, it was my brother bought a guitar phaser pedal, I think, and it was right from the early days when they first started off. My first real uh, relationship came when they started making digital delays and uh, the 2290 delay, which is kind of brings me into what uh, I'm going to talk about today, which is I've just uh, got hold of the new plugins for the uh, <coughs> that TC have brought out with the hardware controllers. Um, as soon as I saw them, I was quite interested because I've been using software effects for quite a few years. I mean, I, I was an early adopter of the PowerCore system. I think there's uh, videos of me uh, talking about that from, I think, uh, oh, two albums ago, probably about 10 years ago. Um, I've always liked TC effects, I've always liked the sounds, I've always liked the usability, but the main thing, that's the sound is what's always attracted me to them. Um, I used to use the power core, and one of the favourite sounds on that was the digital vintage reverb, which was uh, a plate emulation. And I'm really glad that they bought out um, a new version of it, uh, which runs as a plug-in, it comes with a hardware controller, um, which is kind of a cut down version of the original EMT 250. I don't know if anyone's ever been aware or even seen an EMT 250, but it was uh, one of the first commercially viable digital reverbs. And it was kind of quite a tall unit um, with big levers on the top. It kind of looked like, uh, it looked like kind of the aircraft controls that you have at the center of an aircraft, kind of these big things. And they've kind of recreated it in a mini mode here with these little switches that alter the parameters. So I can take the reverb times up, can take the low end. It's just great. It's great for flicking through during the show. Uh, I'm using it for different reverbs and just using the controls. I don't bother changing presets. I just change the actual controls just by taking up the reverb time, maybe altering the low frequency content. Uh, and I love this because I love hands-on control. I'm not very good at sort of recalling presets type person. As you can probably tell by the use of, uh, I've got a big analog console here. I'm still very much old school. Uh, I still use lots of hardware um, and I've integrated software into that, but I've still got lots of my hardware units. Um, if we go down to my rack down here, I'll show you in a minute all the stuff I've got that's still, I'm still using, some of which goes back to 70s, um, including lots of TC hardware units. But the software, I was quite interested because um, a band like The Prodigy, we tour around the world. And when we tour to countries like Australia and uh, America, it's very hard to fly a console this big and this heavy. So I have to rent equipment there. And <clears throat> I like to take a basic package of stuff. So what I've done now is uh, I've built a pedal board and this has become my essential setup for most of my touring now. Uh, and at the heart of it, there's a, a Line 6 digital delay, which is great for those sort of thing. I've got um, a Q pad, which is Q, uh, an iPad, which is running a, an Allen Heath mixer, which is doing a lot of my effects returns. But at the heart of it, I've got uh, the TC digital, digital vintage reverb. I've got the AC210, which is the standard reverb. And then I've got the 2290, which is doing a lot of my delays now. Um, the 2290 was one of the first digital delays I used uh, and it was great because mainly because it had a learn function you could tap a button and it would come out in time which kind of revolutionized uh, the way I could work which means that I could just put things in on the fly didn't matter what time the band were playing you could just tap a tempo in and it would recreate that as a delay which just made my life so much easier having come from the time when I used to have to use tape delays and just moving the knob to get the right time which was kind of a skill in itself this you could just press tap a button I've progressed now, so I've actually got it on a foot switch for my... Um, I've got the newer version of the 2290, which is called a D2, which I've got in my rack down here. But now I've got a kind of fly setup, which I can take pretty much... It all packs up into quite a small box, and I can take this abroad, and it goes with, goes with me to virtually all the shows I do now. Um, I run all the plugins in Ableton, because Ableton just acts as a host. So I run audio into Ableton through the plugins and I just drop different channels into record. So on this one I've got uh, the 2290 plugin there. Uh, the next channel along is my digital vintage reverb uh, and then I've got my 2290 delay comes up as a different preset. 
but these are all just being mirrored by the hardware controllers which is what I actually use during the show so I can change things on the fly during that um, so if we look down the down here and we'll look in the rack and see what I've got from uh, from TC's ancient past so uh, here we've got some of the hardware units um, starting uh, kind of not at the top of the rack but here is um, a TCD2 delay uh, it wasn't the f this came after the 2290 delay uh, the 2290s were really expensive at the time and strange enough it's still just as expensive they're the second hand value of them is incredible um, but it kind of stands up for the quality of the unit and they're still going and they're still sought after. The D2 is a really practical live delay. Uh, I've got the tap tempo delay pedal so I can change the time in time with the music. Um, it's got one of the best ping pong delays. I kind of use ping pong quite a lot and it sends the sound from left to right uh, and it gives a really good three dimensional uh, feel to the sound. Uh, and that's kind of a steadfast pretty much every gig I've, I do I use a, a D2 delay. Just above that is one of the sort of cheaper from, cheaper units from TC, which I think is, uh, this one's uh, an M300. It's a really, it's got a really good reverb and it's got a great phaser. Uh, and I use it on different sounds and I just change the sounds. I've got, um, I've got it set as a cathedral reverb because at one point in the set I want a really incredibly long reverb and it does a massive reverb sound, it does like a 10 second reverb which I use on uh, Keith's vocal for a couple of songs uh, and it's, yeah, it's mammoth, it's great, it's a, a great unit and I used to use it on the guitar for the phaser setting on, on another song in the set uh, and I quite like it because I can go to it, I've actually inconveniently placed it at the top of the rack so it's actually quite difficult to see so I have to keep ducking down so I'm going to have to rebuild the rack for the next tour. Um, over here, I've got uh, TC Helicon, which is, I don't know if you can see, but it's set to the very angry sound. Um, that's kind of self-explanatory, really, isn't it? And that's used on Maxim's vocal for a couple of songs. Um, and then, <clears throat> I've used these units for, for many years. I mean, I can't remember when I... It's... I've, yeah, I've used TC hardware for probably 20 years now, I think. Uh, and touch wood hasn't let me down. Um, and then obviously I've got the software plugins up here. So TC's very much been at the heart of my effects for, for most of my career. I've been doing the Prodigy now for 15 years and uh, there's definitely some sounds here that I'd be struggling to do without. Uh, so thanks to TC for these. Uh, they're great fun to use. I'm looking forward to taking them in the studio. Um, it's just so good to have actual things you can put your hand on to. It really helps my mixing skills. It's, it just makes it a lot easier for me. Um, highly recommend you go out and try them. Uh, my name's John Byrne, I'm the front of house engineer for The Prodigy and thank you very much.